Yes, but first we'll take a look at some hot topics that are, ta that are in breaking news at the moment. And to help us this week, we are joined by Derham Groves, who's part of a new exhibition at the University of Melbourne's library, uh, looking at the uh, back at the 60 years of Australian television. Hello, welcome. Everyone. Yeah, Thanks, welcome Jack. to Offbeat. Yep. Very good to be here. Yeah. Now, 60 years of TV, that is a lot of cover, and... There is, of course, an exhibition going at the University of Melbourne where you teach yep. architecture. <coughs> Correct. You tell, tell us a bit about it. How did it all come to, together? Well, uh, for a long time I've been interested in history and the, uh, the history of television in Australia. And, of course, 60 years this year <coughs> um, with television. And it's something that's important that really needs to be celebrated. So, um, also at the University of Melbourne is 400 years of Shakespeare, but I think uh, 60 years of television beats it uh, yeah, trumps hands it, down, trumps actually. It for sure. Well, yeah. we got Bert and <coughs> Graham and Don and all the greats. Well, exactly, so. exactly. And for the opening, we had uh, Ron Blaskett was there oh. and, um, and Susan Gay Anderson, these uh, TV stars from the Tarek show, which, of course, <coughs> look, the, the, the look back at 60 years is pretty quirky. It's, it's my kind of personal look. So... The, the sorts of things I'm interested in and the programs that are represented are those that uh, I experienced as a kid. So I'm, I'm, I was born in 56 and television came to Australia in 56, so we're both 60 um, this year. Oh, I, my. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. I know, wow. I know. Well, I think I look, I think I'm faring <laughs> better than television, actually. Well, and but, 60 years uh, since the Melbourne Olympics, <clears throat> too, might I add. Correct, correct. So Great year. It, it, was, it was poorly organised, the introduction of television, so... Um, the, while people think we got it to televise the Olympics, really the stations weren't kind of organised to do it. So the, many of them were sort of doing test uh, broadcasts of the Olympics. But uh, Channel, <coughs> Channel 7 and 2 started in September here and Channel 9 started in January of 57. So right. the exhibition covers um, all, all of that yeah. period as well. And so you're a, a professor of architecture at the University of Melbourne. <coughs> I'm a humble senior lecturer. I have uh, uh, <laughs> no, no ambitions in that uh, area, never have. Um, mm. but, but yes, I teach architecture at, uh, at, at Melbourne and my interest has always been in um, popular culture and architecture. And certainly this is the sort of thing. I mean, uh, you, you know, what interested me in particular uh, before this exhibition, for example, is the way television influenced the design of the Australian house, for example. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so I wrote, uh, I've written about that. You've written the, about, how has, <coughs> how has television Well, it, 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 it was profound, actually, because when television uh, came in 1956, and certainly for the first 10 years of, uh, of, of television, really, the whole house was focused on the television. So <clears throat> we had things like TV chairs. So a TV chair is very lightweight and, and a bit lower than a normal chair so that your eye was in, in line with the screen, for example. They have mm. TV lamps. So people were frightened that you know, the glare of, uh, of television would damage your eyes. So you had these sort of uh, indirect lighting. Um, you, you had TV trays and TV mm. snacks and, and <coughs> TV socks and TV yeah. dresses and everything was directed at TV for those, for the, for those yeah, first Yeah, well that years. definitely hasn't changed. No. But um, I think we're going to go to a break now. But it's been a pleasure. Pleasure talking to you.